It's that time of year again when we go camping. And this year I'm after a solar panel setup so I can charge my iPad and my iPhone and all those devices. So this is what we've gone with. We've got a deep cycle battery, a power battery box, a 140 watt solar panel and a 600 watt power inverter. Let's have a look at each one more closely. We went with this 100 amp hour deep cycle battery. This type of battery has minimal maintenance, you just need to keep some charge in it when it's not in use. This is the power battery box to store the battery in. It's got an Anderson plug on the top, a charge indicator, a circuit breaker and the terminals on the front to connect your things to. This is a generic brand 600 watt power inverter, pure sign power inverter, makes a difference. You can get a modified sign or a pure sign. Modified sign is good for some devices but not for things like TVs and microwaves. This is what the power inverter looks like out of the box. On one end you have the terminal connections and a cooling fan. On the other end you have the power outlet. This is a briefcase style solar panel with handle on the top and easy clip latches on the side. This is a solar panel unfolded and ready for action. There's not much to it. This is the back of the solar panel. It comes with a solar controller already attached and this particular one has a 10 meter cord with an Anderson plug. This is the underneath side of the battery box lid. It has cables to connect to the battery. Put the battery into the battery box and then you can easily connect your cables. Once it's all securely connected, replace the lid and you're ready to go. A battery box is optional but I like it because you can see the charge that's left in the battery. Now you need to connect the Anderson plug from the solar panel to the adapter to connect it to your battery. The solar controller now shows you what level of charge your battery has. Now for the power inverter. As you can see on the back of the inverter, there's two terminals. The two wires that come with it need to be connected to their matching terminal. Now all you need to do is clip the wires onto the battery. The power inverter is now running off the battery and you can plug in whatever device you like. If you want to, you can replace these clips with little round circles that connect right onto the battery terminals. This way you can connect your inverter and your solar panel all at the same time. Another cool feature of the battery box is the 12 volt connection on the side. Thanks for watching and remember, just give it a go.